Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Cat University. Today on the workbench, we have the 25kg Hexfly Servo. Now this is a great servo option. It has metal gears. It has an aluminum center section to help dissipate heat. It's a high torque servo and it comes with an aluminum steering arm. Now this is a great option for those of you that want more out of your steering, perhaps on your Gen 8 or Camo X4, which are the vehicles that we're gonna show you how to install it on. Let's get to work. First up, we're going to install the Hexfly 25kg servo on our Gen 8. Now, what you have to do is remove the four screws that secure the servo to the chassis, followed by the screw that holds the servo horn down to the servo. Use your two millimeter hex driver to remove these screws. Now you can wiggle the stock servo arm off of the servo and remove the screw that secures the steering link. If you have any zip ties securing your servo wires, now's the time to cut them free. Our stock lead is connected to our lighting unit here, but if you have a stock Gen 8, it will be located here in the receiver box. Simply disconnect it so we can remove the servo. With our servo disconnected, we can now slide it out of position. And now we can slide our new servo into place. Make sure the servo spline is facing the same direction as the stock servo did. Next, reinstall the four screws that secure the servo to the chassis. Once the servo is installed, flip your truck over and run the wire through the chassis over to your receiver box, or in our case, the lighting unit. Plug it in. Secure your wires with new zip ties if necessary. Now before installing the servo horn, it is a good idea to set the steering trim back to zero to make sure everything is centered. Start by turning on your radio system, then your vehicle, Check to see that everything is working and now set your steering trim to zero. Now we can start to install the new aluminum servo horn that came with the servo. Start by screwing the steering link into the servo horn. Now straighten out the front wheels on your Gen 8 and place the servo horn over the servo. Locate the nearest splines that made up with the servo horn and press the servo horn down. Now screw the servo horn screw into place. I'm going to reuse the factory button head screw rather than the Phillips head screw that came with the servo. After tightening down the servo horn screw, tighten down the two 1.5 millimeter clamping screws. Now that the servo is in place, you'll want to check your trim adjustments, turn the radio system on followed by the Gen 8, and adjust your steering trim to make sure that the steering is centered. Once you do that, check your steering endpoints to make sure there is no stress on the steering system. Turn the steering dual rate down if there is too much throw. Okay, now let's install our 25kg servo in the Camo X4. Start off by removing the on-off switch, followed by unscrewing the two screws that secure the top of the receiver box. Pull off the top of the receiver box and unplug the steering servo from the channel one port in the receiver. Carefully flip the camo over and unscrew the two screws that secure the servo to the chassis. Now you can turn the servo up and unscrew the ball stud that goes into the servo horn. Remove the factory servo from the rig and unscrew the servo mounts. Transfer the mounts to the new servo and tighten down the servo screws. Follow the steps outlined before to center your servo and then place your aluminum servo horn on the output shaft. Secure your servo horn with the screw and tighten down your clamping screws. Screw the steering ball stud back into the servo horn in the lower hole. And then reinstall the servo in reverse order in which you took it out. Apply new two-sided tape to the switch and stick it down to the servo. And just like we did with the Gen 8, set your steering trim to make sure it's centered and check your steering endpoint adjustments. And there you have it, our examples of how to install the 25kg servo into the Camo X4 and the Gen 8. A link to this servo will be placed in the product description below. Please, while you're there, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you back here soon for another Red Cat Racing how-to video.